We're alive. Flair City family, what is up? It's time to quarantine in a really healthy and tasty way. <laughs> Was that funny? Quarantine with daddy, right? We got Rose Honey here. We got Art over yonder. We got Desi on the camera there. We're gonna continue the week of live streams. Daddy's gonna make a delicious, uh, basically almost vegetarian meal tonight with vegetables and lentils and coconut milk. Look, at she's staring at Uncle Fart. She's like, what's he doing back there? He's normally up there, right? <laughs> Uncle Fart's at home. He's quarantining because of the governor. Yeah. So it's gonna be delicious. I'm really excited. Very, very easy recipe. We'll have some downtime while it's cooking. Maybe we'll make a quick little slaw, uh, maybe some kind of topping, but uh, it's gonna be really fun. So before we get going, let's do some housekeeping, right? Let's, let me know if you guys can hear me okay, and then Desi, introduce yourself. Can you hear me okay? This is Desi. <laughs> <laughs> Desi is taking over once again for art. Um, and then please leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from tonight. Uh, Rose is having a great day. We filmed a healthy fast food delivery quarantine video. We ordered from Shake Shack, Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, Subway, and Blaze Pizza. Uh, try to give you the best options for delivery or pickup. And it was really, really good, right? All right, we got Michigan here. Shard Schroyer's in the house. We got Tucson, California. Amber's here. We got Chicago. Christine, who won a cookbook the other day, is here. My girl Amira's here. Uh, so, perfect. So, I think what makes this recipe so good is a couple things. It's basic, and it's made with pantry staples like lentils, spices, herbs. And we're cooking it in two flavor boosters, I call it. Number one, we're cooking it in coconut milk to make it dairy-free, but to really give it body and some oomph, we're cooking it in today's sponsor of the video too, bone broth. Now you guys know I make bone broth all the time. Actually, we have two big containers of it right there, Rose, right? But the thing is we go through so much of it that oftentimes we run out. And if that's the case, I only use a couple of really high quality store-bought bone broths. And this is one, it's called Kettle and Fire. It's made with grass-fed beef bones and 100% organic ingredients, no natural flavors, no maltodextrin, no filler, all thriller. And they just contacted me because they have a quarantine immune system boosting deal right now. So in the link of the description box, uh, in the first line, there's a link to get up to 25% off any one of their bone broths or their bone broth soups. This is really good for the immune system. It's good for your collagen, hair, skin, gut, and nails. And I'll go into more detail later on why I swear by this stuff, but they don't need to do a sale right now. They're almost sold out, but they're still doing a huge sale and they wanted to extend it to Flav City fans. So thank you guys for sponsoring the video. I highly encourage you to check them out. The first link in the description box, it's an amazing product. Two really cool dudes who own it. So let's get rocking and rolling. Back here, I have a large Dutch oven preheating. I'm gonna cook this in my favorite grass-fed ghee from Thrive Market. I'm, I'm gonna do two heaping tablespoons because it almost gives it like a rich, fatty umptiousness to the dish. And you guys know I just love ghee. Whatever ghee you use, just make sure number one, it's grass-fed. And number two, it's organic would be nice because when it's ghee, it's lactose and casein free. It's an amazing fat that actually goes well because right in India, Desi, uh, a lot of, uh, let's show Desi by the way, a lot of Indian dishes are made with ghee, right? Hi guys. <laughs> the Indians love ghee, right? Yeah. Yeah, they'll use clarified butter or ghee. So let's get rocking and rolling. Say hi to Rose if you haven't done so yet. She's rocking and rolling today. Just got back from a walk with mommy and had a great power nap, right? Yeah. Okay, so the base of this will be a bunch of vegetables. By the way, I put the link, say hi to Art if you haven't done so. Hi everybody, good to see y'all. I put the link in the description box, or actually I put the recipe there. And I'm gonna add a couple extra vegetables to this because I have them. So, one red onion we shall need. Let's go to culinary school 101. How do we cut onions effectively but also safely? Well, what I do, and you guys have seen this a million times, but for those of you who are new to the channel, you perch your fingers on top of the red onion like this. You make planks across the top. All right, how many times have you heard me say this? Uh, more times than I can count. <laughs> then you put your fingers back into a claw so you can't cut yourself. See, if I do that, it's not really gonna hurt myself. If my fingers were out, that's not good. You don't wanna go to the ER right now. They're a little busy with uh, more important things than a missing finger. Then we'll do one more cut down like this. Can you imagine if you had to go to the doctor right now for something like not too serious, but it needed medical attention. And they're like, get out of here, man. We got like 
Corona people here and you're like, yeah, but I cut the tip of my finger off because Bobby told me to perch my fingers and I didn't know what that meant. That'd be kind of bad, wouldn't it? Super chat from Sarah for $2.99. Sarah with the pair saying thumbs up. Thank you, Sarah. I appreciate that. You guys, we got 630 people on here. Art, how can we get more people on the stream? <laughs> well, uh, we don't you feel like the dating apps are kind of suffering right now with uh, Corona yeah, going? I find like all the local news stations are trying to do a little expose about what it's like using those in a safe for men, so. Yeah, uh, it's got to be a yeah. slow time for a bumble in those uh, things. But yeah, share the stream over to your favorite social media or dating app. You know, we're just going to hang out. So I got a bunch of red onions here. Probably more than I need, to be honest. Oh, Finley's in the house. I know, I know Finley and Toonces are quarantined at home in Cleveland. Finley must be bummed out that Art is not uh, For sure. filming right now. As long as Finley has a good I, supply I of know, beer, I he's happy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so red onions. Oh, you want the drawer, Rose? Here you go. Rose loves drawers, so her thing is to pull on drawers and see what's inside of them. So onions go in. Now, the recipe I posted below in the description box just has onions as the base, but... I have some other vegetables I kind of want to get rid of, so I'm going to add some more. I don't think I need all these onions. What do you think, Des? Well, I think this is good so far. Yeah, I'll just do that. Now, I also have some celery and some zucchini. Why not use it, right? It's a vegetable packed lentil stew, and I really, really love Look, that it's a kind of an easy way to sneak a lot of vegetables into someone's diet. <laughs> Rose is not a picky eater, but if you have picky eaters at home, this is the way to get them to eat a lot of vegetables. And I think a lot of our recipes, especially from our cookbook, which I forgot to, I always forget to put that in the background. I'm the worst self-promotion person ever. There we go. So a lot oh, of the- Oh, Char Troy with a super chat. Char, 9.99, support, the you're the best. So Char has been a fan since day one. No joke, day one she was a fan on Facebook, on YouTube, and she's a big supporter from Michigan, Michigan, so we appreciate that, Char. So I'll take my organic zucchini here that I bought yesterday at Whole Foods. Oh, by the way, if you are in the store too, this is on sale 35% off at uh, Whole Foods now too. But I would just say it'd be easier to use the link in the description box for that. And I was very happy, like I said yesterday, they had a ton of vegetables and middle aisle foods at Whole Foods. And I shared it on uh, Instagram stories, but a lot of people came back to me and said, hey, my Whole Foods and Wherever I live does not look like that. Caitlin, so that, 199 thank you for helping me keep my family healthy. That's what we're here for, especially now. And we talked about it in videos. When you go to the grocery store to load up on things and you have the option of healthy versus not so healthy, you got to pick the healthy because the healthy food supports immunity. And now more than ever, that's super important. Now, listen, I understand if you can't afford it. And I understand if they don't have it in stock. But if they have it in stock, then you gotta buy it because it's all about boosting your immune system. All right, babe? I feel like people just trade down to like, oh, I'm gonna get white bread and rice and uh, oatmeal and stuff like that. But those are foods that are actually bad for your immune system and high starch, simple carbohydrates. But if you have the means to get the complex carbohydrates and the sprouted grain breads and stuff like that, I would get that. Your hair is growing, right, babe? Yeah, I was supposed to get a haircut two weeks ago, but. It got canceled. Hey, we're in day five of the quarantine. I haven't showered today. How about you, Art? Hey, I had to turn you off. Yeah, uh, I showered. You I showered? Oh, one of us showered. I showered. <laughs> Look at Rose. She looks thrilled right now. She's like, that eh. makes what? That makes... Uh, one of us. One of us. Someone's got a shower. I literally... <laughs> I literally filmed the video today with Rose looking like this. The kitchen was a disaster. I'm like, hey, this is real life. I don't need to like spruce up the place. Rose was here. You know, that's how we do it. Okay, so onions in there. Let's put a little celery in there too, Des. Liza made my pumpkin bread and she loved it. Ooh, wow, Desi's pumpkin bread. The gluten-free pumpkin bread is a winner. And once again, that's another dish you can make. That's a pantry staple. I love how people are doing like hardcore baking right now. Yeah, I think baking blogs are doing really like well now. It's like Christmas, right? You're home, you're with your family. Yeah. Uh, you've got lots of supplies, you got lots of pantry staples, you're gonna bake. I bet the baking blogs are doing very well right now. 
right? But it's nice if you bake something on the healthier side too. Maybe it's gluten-free, maybe it's paleo, like one of Desi's recipes. So this will be the base of our lentil stew. But we have to take time to really cook it down, right? So I'm talking about like 10, 15 minutes because I really want to evaporate the moisture out of there. Very, very important. And Smells then really I'll already. add some garlic and ginger and I'll run you through the other ingredients. So if you're just joining, here's what's going on. Rose and I are hanging out with Desi and Art. We're making a red curry coconut lentil stew. I think we're going to make a little side salad or slaw with it too. And what makes it really great is coconut milk, coconut cream, bone broth, and this secret ingredient right here. This is a pantry must. This is red curry paste. Now listen, I'm not an expert in Asian food, but look at this, babe. This should be in your pantry because I call it a flavor bomb. You want to make a curry dish? Look at the ingredients in here. Lemongrass, galangal, kefir lime leaves. Like I would never be able to source all this stuff myself, but this is delicious. So this combined with some turmeric powder. So let's talk about the recipe. After that cooks, I'll add some garlic, some ginger, uh, maybe some fresh turmeric, curry powder, turmeric powder, the red curry paste, then the lentils, then coconut milk, then bone broth, and then finish it with coconut cream. How can that not be good? And what gives it really that body, like I talked about earlier, is the kettle and fire bone broth or homemade bone broth. So let's talk about why bone broth is an immune system booster. Everyone talks about bone broth like, oh, we know it's good for us. It has collagen. Well, yeah, it does have collagen. It also has gelatin, but it also has chondroitin. And chondroitin is great for your gut and your immune system. And when you want to stay healthy from any kind of sickness or virus, you have to have a strong immune system. Bone broth is an immune system booster. I would drink a cup every single day, just like we did this morning, right? We had a cup this morning. Um, and when it's made with good quality ingredients, it's not only good, but it's good for you. So once again, in the description box down below is the link for up to 25% off of the immune boosting bundle on their website. If you're not gonna make your own, you gotta buy a quality one. And these guys rock it. Here, bro, let me give you this. Here, 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 here. Huh? There you go, my love. And here's your... Probably you got a question from Jason Stevens. So what is the blue handle thing? Where can you get it? Well, I'm assuming it's that uh, little device on your cutting board. Blue hand. Oh, this is a, this is, thank you, Art. This is a bench scraper. So it's on my Amazon store. If you go to amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City, it's used to scoop stuff. It's actually for pastry. Pastry people like to scrape dough. I use it to scoop and put it into pans, scoop it into the garbage. It's really good for cleaning up. So this is from Rachel Ray. It's literally $7. Amazon. If you ever have a question about any of my kitchen gear, Amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City has 85 plus of all the gear I use every day. My pots, my pans, my knives, my bench scrapers, my boards, my storage tins, all that stuff is there, right? Yeah. Uh, somebody was asking about the board. This is a booze, yep. booze block. It's a great you, uh, Illinois company. Yep. You have one of those art or no? Do you have a booze block? So, yeah, they're a great company. You always see the Food Network people, especially Bobby Flay using that. This is the 18 by 24 double thick cherry wood board. It's like 130 bucks, but it's amazing. 199 from Tom. Tommy yeah. Dalton. Yep. And My man. So we have a question from Oh, you Venus. know what? <clears throat> it's a good bread recipe. That's not eggy. Oh, well, Desi's paleo bread recipe, right? I don't know what kind of bread they're looking for. Paleo yeah, if you want bread, I have an awesome sandwich bread recipe. It's on Flav City. Just go there and you'll find yes. it. Yes. Uh, Tanya is asking, is it spicy? No, this is not spicy at all. It's a savory one, but they also make soups. Like this is a coconut curry lime and some of them are spicy. So you can choose your bundle, but I would get the base and mix your own. Um, is a sous vide on my Amazon shop? No, but there's a hundred dollar one from Anova that I'd recommend getting for sure. There you go. We don't use sous vide. Art and I use sous vide to defrost steaks. That's about it, right? Because it's a constant circulation of uh, uh, the water. So it really defrosts steaks in a hurry when you forget to put a steak out the night before. Ha <laughs> ha! So how it work with that? Like black, your voice very low. Might be louder. 
Ah, I don't know if you want to make our lotter. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's not a good thing. <laughs> if anyone has, I want to see the top questions for art come in right now, and then Desi will put her microphone by the speaker after the questions come in. Yeah, hashtag ask, ask That's right. art anything. Question with hashtag wow. ask. No, just hashtag ask hashtag art. Hashtag but not anything. Yeah, but not anything, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, again, Bear Borg says, can you hook art to a Bluetooth speaker to give it better volume? Wow, All right, I'm going to order one on Amazon just for you guys. Rose wants to comb your hair with that spoon. Yes, she does. <laughs> I will, I will Thank you, Katie. Answer, Can you substitute collagen peptides and add beef broth in place of bone broth? <laughs> um, no, because the collagen peptides don't give you that same gelatinous feeling that the, the peptides flavor, the would. Flavor. Yeah, the flavor also. I mean, the peptides are just hydrolyzed uh, bovine peptides. This is made from bones, not skin. So it's a completely different product. Uh, keep in mind, bo be, bo uh, bone broth is made from bones. Collagen peptides are made from skin, right? All right, uh, Joseph, if the moon were made of cheese, would you take a bite? <laughs> we, we, have no, we know that answer, all right? <laughs> Thank you, Harry Carey. All right, here we go. Canada, at Art. Art, do you eat junk when Bobby is not watching? Whenever he's blinking, yes, I eat junk food. Say it again, hold on a second. Whenever Bobby's blinking, I, I sneak in a bite of junk food. <laughs> All right. No, not really. That's that's more of a joke. I, I try to eat in moderation. Let's see. Uh, Art, you eat as healthy as Bobby does, even though you like cheese balls. <laughs> do, do I eat as healthy as Bobby does? Yeah. Clearly not. <laughs> uh, how do you like your coffee? Black. Okay, black. And. That's a true coffee Somebody drinker. Somebody asked about Steve Kerr. Yes, I do hear Steve Kerr, but by far the number one person that I've been claimed, I've been told I'm a doppelganger of is Willem Dafoe. Yeah, Willem Dafoe for sure. What's for dinner? What's for dinner tonight, Art? Uh, I'm going to do some uh, chicken thighs, the first or second option from the uh, Freeways Cooked Chicken Thighs video. Oh, nice. Art loves that. The, the oven one, not the, not the one on the cast iron. Okay, that one works too. Have you left the house today? Uh, Someone wants to know. What's the question? Have you left the house today? Uh, I went out for a run uh, around midday. It was pretty nice weather. I got too warm, actually. If someone asked if I'm on quarantine, no, I'm just under lockdown like most people in Illinois. Yeah. Art's healthy as a horse. Don't worry about him. <laughs> Some horse is going to be sick. <laughs> well, Hopefully I'm not one of them. Lindsay Miller with a $10 super chat. I bought Chosen Foods <gasps> avocado oil from Costco, but nowhere does it say expeller pressed. Also bought the almond flour, coconut sugar. Give me ideas. Not keto, paleo, just trying to be healthier. All right. Well, Lindsay, yes, it is expeller pressed. Chosen Foods is one of the best ones, so don't worry about it. Um, Desi has amazing dessert recipes. So go to flavcity.com, click on the dessert tab, and Desi has paleo dessert recipes using almond flour um, and uh, coconut sugar. I just made almond cookies, almond chocolate chip cookies from a blog. Search almond cookies. Co almond flour cookies, meaningful eats. Uh, she has a blog recipe for almond flour chocolate chip cookies with coconut sugar. That is amazing. We, we actually, we just finished the last cookie before we started. Very, very tasty. What makes you cook the stew in cast iron and not the instant pot? Um, good question. I would say there's really not much of a difference. The only difference is that. Hold on. Don't disconnect. Whatever you're doing. Don't I said we can. It's like a 15 second lag. There we so go. Okay. Fine, like, now keep in mind, a lot of people are streaming right now, so there's going to be a lot of delays. But look, you don't need the Instant Pot because we're using split lentils, which cook in no time at all. If you're going to use whole lentils, you might want to use a pressure cooker, but these are red organic split lentils, and they don't, uh, they cook so darn quick. Okay, let's chop some brocks. And then I was talking to Desi. I'm like, you know, we have some leftover tofu in the fridge. Maybe we'll fry it in that leftover avocado oil and put that as a garnish to the uh, lentil stew. Do you guys want to see that? Because I told you, you can save that, uh, that oil and keep using it. <laughs> That's so funny, Rose. Is that funny? Where did you buy them? I bought them at the uh, bulk section of Whole Foods. It's a great deal. Uh, let's see. Suzanne says, yes, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, Keto-friendly ham and pea soup. 
Well, that wouldn't be possible because peas are not keto. Um, so I'd have to investigate that for you, my dear. Let me throw some garlic in here. This is probably a little too much, actually. I'm going to save that. You can stay here. Not that exciting. And then I have to grate some ginger. So now we're getting to the interesting parts of the recipe. So can you see? Did you notice how the vegetables really cooked down here? Say hello, Rose. Do this, Rose. Hi, Rose, hi. look at that. Hey, hi. wave. Hi, hi, Rose. Hi. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> She's been waving a lot lately. Just look real quick. See how the vegetables really cook down. This is probably the most important part of the recipe because you're evaporating a lot of the water in there and making the natural sugars come out. So that's very important. Yes, my love. Where'd your biba go? Oh, here it is. Art, Art, do you bake? Do I bake? Yeah, I, I do bake. I actually prefer baking rather than cooking, so it's not really useful in an everyday thing, I guess. So, babe, check this out. I actually didn't know that about Art. You didn't know that he baked? Of course he does. No, that he prefers baking. Oh, I didn't know that either. <laughs> so, take the ginger, take a spoon, peel away the skin. If you have very young ginger, you don't have to do that, but I never really find super young ginger. Then instead of chopping it, I'll take a microplaner because you really don't want to bite into a big piece of gingy because it's quite spicy. But when you microplane it like this, it melts and you never really get a chunk. You just get that beautiful flavor, right, of the ginger. So now we're going to start going into flavor country, right? So onions and garlic, our ginger and garlic is in. Let me check my recipe. Next up, we're going to go with curry powder. This is moochi curry powder. It's more yellow. And I like a yellow curry powder, but just to reinforce it, I'm going to add some turmeric powder. And then I'll immediately go in. Like, if you could smell this right now. Christy T. Bobby, please give a shout out to my mom. Maria Santiago, you have an amazing daughter. Christy T. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Try grapefruit spoon for ginger. Great call, too. Christy, smell that. Right, that's a flavor bomb. The red uh, Thai chili paste. That's just delicious. Now, we're going to put the spices in, the curry paste in, and to reinforce a tomatoey flavor and the color without getting too tomato. Who invented tomato paste in a squeeze tube? The most genius person ever because you don't have to waste the can of just using like a little bit and then it gets all moldy. You know, you know that happens, right? This is the smartest thing ever. I bought three of these extra yesterday at Whole Foods because I had them in stock and I go through tomato paste fast. Vincent, $5. Two in a can. Two, <laughs> toothpaste in a can. That'd be interesting, right? So come back yonder. He's thinking of a career move. Oh yeah? Into the culinary direction. I would say skip culinary school and just go straight to like uh, working in a restaurant or something you think you love. So this is curry powder. I'll add about a heaped teaspoon. Then to reinforce, turn the, the heat down a very low for me, will you? To reinforce the color, some turmeric. I just love turmeric. Wait till you see the color of this stew. It's going to be crazy. Then we'll take our curry paste here. I'll we'll put a... Uh, I did? From who? Yeah, Deborah Hollis, two ninety nine. Oh, Deborah. Oh, I've never seen that. Uh, um, that's a lemon doing some kind of wave. That's cool. So oh, two... I thought it was Tweety at first, but you're right. It's a lemon. It's a lemon. Lemon. So two tablespoons of that. And then can someone help Desi stir that? Maybe... um. Deborah or Rebecca or Amber, can you stir that for me if you don't mind? That'd be lovely. Thanks, and then man. this is where flavors start to bloom. I think by cooking that, uh, oh, and the tomato paste. By cooking the tomato paste and the spices, you really open up the flavors, right? And spices need to be cooked in fat. Speaking of fat, let's just do a dollop more to really bloom the essential oils and bring the flavor back to life. Very, very important to do that. This right now is a base for anything. You can put an old leather shoe in there and cook it in that. It's going to be good because that is just a flavor bomb right now. What would be a substitute? Back to life or what about back to reality? Uh, back to reality, back to life. I'd say both. What's that, babe? Okay. What would be a substitute if you don't have lentils? Uh, if you don't have lentils? Uh, chickpeas. Chickpeas would work. Yeah, chickpeas would take a long time. That's when I would do it in the pressure cooker. Any kind of beans is going to work 100% fine here, you guys. So now I'm going to measure out. Here's another important step. We take our chickpeas, 
and we cook them in potatoes. Yeah, here. potatoes. Oh yeah, potatoes. potatoes, but not very nu nutritious with potato. I would do sweet potato, sweet potato and black beans. That'd be great. I'm gonna cook the beans in here. You're not washing. No, it's okay. Right, so a cup and a half. I said right. Okay. Why am I doing this? Because I really want to coat the lentils in all of that yumminess. And just like I would toast, say, uh, arborio rice, I'm doing the same thing with this. Is that enough? A cup and a half, you think? Should be yeah. plenty, right? Do we eat beans or are they too high carb? Does he? Uh, we eat beans once in a while. Rarely. If we eat beans, we eat usually lentils. We're basically a keto paleo household, but when we eat something that is carby, we'll eat beans. If we eat pasta, we get the Trader Joe's uh, yellow lentil and brown rice pasta because it has high in fiber. It's not a simple carbohydrate. You'll never see us eating wheat because we just don't eat that because it's very uh, bloating and uh, we're intolerant to that. So we'll cook that for a couple of minutes. Yeah, so lentils are not keto, but today's theme is what can you do with your pantry staples? It's a quarantine. Not everyone can stay keto paleo during that, but it's about eating clean. I think everyone's going to have these kind of ingredients right here. And once you stock up on the Kettle and Fire bone broth using the sale link down below, you're good to go. It's Even before the quarantine happened, I always have a, a stock pantry. Look at this, day, babe. Right? We always have stuff loaded here, right? Sauces, condiments. Uh, mayonnaise is coconut milk stuff like that we always have this right here right loaded nuts seeds honey dried fruits salts oils vinegars tons of spices marie condoed by desi tons of condiments and sauces down here we're always good to go right so what's the most famous person you've met besides art besides art i probably say well, Art and I met Bono together. That was pretty famous, right, Art? Very funny, very funny picture. Yeah, oh, and also I, I can think of another very famous person. <laughs> That's right. What's that? Who? Denzel. Oh, yeah, we were in an elevator with Denzel Washington one time. That was fun. Oh, uh, Ted Danson. Ted Danson? Yeah, but Ted we Danson? didn't really exchange anything with the Ted Danson uh, besides a glimpse. Yeah. Uh, or a smile, actually. With Denzel, we actually talked. That's right. That Okay, now this is where the magic happens in the recipe. One cup of full fat coconut milk mixed with the bone broth. Now watch what happens to the color. Some might say it's in living color and you can do what you want to do, Art. In living color. color. Uh, Art walks off the moon floating like a balloon. So that goes in. Look at that thick glob of coconut cream there. That's lovely. And there's another reason why this is an immune system booster, I'll tell you in a minute. But look at the color. All of a sudden it's like, oh my God, that's insane. Look at that. You know that's going to be amazing. That's your base. Then we open up the kettle and fire bone broth here. You can do this with beef bone broth, chicken bone broth. I just prefer the, uh, the beef bone broth. Yeah, Art does not like to be on the sidelines, that's for sure. No, Art wants to Art be in the action. The action. That's, that's right, Art. In the kitchen. Art's an action Jackson kind of guy. So we'll start with that much. We might add more later on. But, I mean, already, look at the color. Absolutely fantastic. I want to season this while it cooks. So I'll do a pinch of salt. But let, let's go back to um, immune system boosting really quick. So we know the bone broth is good for your immune system because of the chondroitin. If you watched our immune boosting videos lately, coconut milk is another immune system booster because it has MCTs and lauric acid. When you combine that with the bone broth, we're not just talking about a scrum diddly umptious lentil stew, we're talking about an immune system boosting, protein fiber packed, healthy meal. That's what pantry meals are all about, right? MCTs or medium chain triglycerides are good for your uh, energy, for your brain, but also good for your immune system. And the bone broth is great for your immune system and your skin. Keep in mind, daddy's 42. Not everyone has these collagen clung cheeks like rose honey, right? So I need to keep it ahead of the game here. So bone broth rose is gonna do that for daddy. Plus it's good for your joints, right? 42, I'm on my feet a lot. Luckily daddy doesn't hurt that much. I don't have aches and pains or anything but this is kind of the thing that will help keep everything healthy and lubricated. So I think it's super important, you guys, and I'm very appreciative to them for giving us the discount code in the description box. Uh, it's also on sale at Whole Foods. Uh, 
substitute for the lentils. Yeah, any other bean, garbanzos or potatoes. Or any bean, just make sure they're organic because uh, non-organic beans can test very high in glyphosates, which is from Monsanto. Ooh, you can probably boom, do even uh, green boom. peas. Green peas would be delicious. They would go much faster. Fresh green, you know what? I would do yeah, fresh green peas greenies. and maybe brown rice and use that as a cooking liquid. Oh my God, it'd be the most yeah, amazing yeah. thing ever. Now, this is where the recipe gets next level flavor, right? By the way, we got 981 people watching. Wow, my screen is very fuzzy right now. Art, is your, that's what, that's what is your quality very fuzzy? My screen's very fuzzy in terms of the quality of the video. No, no I forced mine to 720p. Oh, check this out, babe. Look, if your video is um, a little fuzzy, go to settings right here. And YouTube has auto quality at 144p. You have to manually go in now and hit 720 and look, it goes perfect. They did that because so many people are streaming now that it's cutting on the bandwidth and they're making you go to upgrade it yourself. Right, Art? Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, but of course, like, you could just be having network connections too that might make it fake to drop down. Yeah. Uh, so Elaine. Honeycut, a longtime fan. My last batch of bone broth was nasty roasted chicken bones and paws. Huh. I wonder why. When we make chicken, it's with chicken backs and feet. I don't know. Try it again or just use my promo code for the kettle and fire, maybe. Uh, let's see. Good question from Taylor. Uh, give me your question again. Hey, Art, look for Taylor's question, will you? Uh, yeah, Birch Bender's Paleo Pancakes Mix. Is Bobby approved? Uh, Desi, when is your mom coming back? Well, we don't know now. Yeah, go for it, Art. Seem like a question, Bobby. Do you know your kitchen so well? You would know where stuff is if you were blindfolded and had to pick something out. I think I would, to be honest. Uh, thank oh, you, Taylor. Sure. Taylor's such a good fan. I appreciate that. Um, so here's where the recipe is going to get next level. That's the curry powder. Okay, I want to reinforce the flavors of Bombay or Mumbai. I've never been there, but who wants to go to uh, India really bad? Huh? Desi. Desi wants to go there really bad on and it. And Desi means Indian person in yeah. <laughs> Hindi. So. so here's where I come, cinnamon, car check it out. I come into my pantry. I have to explain myself when I go there. What's your name? Desi. Well, okay, <laughs> no, you're not a Desi. I'm like, yes, I am. So I'm going to take <laughs> cinnamon sticks. I'm going to take star anise. And I'm going to take a cardamom pod here. Three really good Indian flavors. And then I'm gonna go down here to Rose's level and I'm gonna grab one of my favorite culinary things to get, which is a tea bag, okay? Now, I'm gonna steep these flavors in that pot of goodness back He's there. make a bag. And they add so much flavor. So on, on my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City, I have the uh, tea bags here, right? Where's the Rose's? thing majingers probably in her lap oh no right here oh here you go my love switch okay i have my tea bags and i use them to do this a lot in the kitchen i take a star anise i put it out star anise is such a funky thing right this is our last cinnamon stick baby better uh go Me? to the store am yeah I, am i in charge of that better buy some more and we take a cardamom pod now the pot is really interesting because look what happens if I smash it here. The seeds are released. I think if you go to Indian restaurants, they'll give you like seeds and stuff to uh, chew on, right? Yeah, then? yeah, to chew right after after your dinner. You take a scoop in your hand. Yeah, we did that put one it in time. In your mouth and you chew it. It's supposed to get rid of your uh, um, indigestion. Uh, no, first to clean your mouth. Second to help with digestion, and third to uh, give you a fresh minty breath. Yeah, but then the seeds go in your teeth, don't they? Doesn't matter, babe. Interesting. There's our flavor bomb. And then we do, let's do a Michael Jordan, right, Art? He dribbles left, dribbles right. He goes over Carl Malone. He scores, right? That's just- Michael Jordan was the 360 slam dunk. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Kramer. The 360 Seinfeld dunk. <laughs> oh, great. I scored, but I also splattered that nasty stuff. <laughs> On my backdrop here. I'm trying to be clean tonight. Last night's cleanup was kind of a pain in the butt after all that frying and everything. There was oil splattered everywhere. Can you use dry cardamom? Uh, powder cardamom? Oh, yeah, for sure. But just use like literally 
an eighth of a teaspoon. Be very, very careful. Um, and then what else goes in here? That's it for now. So check out the pot back here, Desi. It's already come to the boil. So what I'm gonna do is give it one more stir. Now imagine all these flavors, right? We have cinnamon, cardamom, we have star anise, we have lentils, we have red curry paste, we have all those yummy vegetables, coconut cream and bone broth. I mean, how can you go wrong? It's gonna take about 20, 30 minutes, which means we have time to make a few other dishes, right? You guys don't so, mind hanging out, right? Gina is saying that uh, she heard that if you make tea from star anise daily, um, it helps strengthen your immune system from um, Corona. Really? Interesting. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. We're all about homeopathic remedies here. I like eating a lot of coconut oil and good quality fats and stuff like that. All right, let's put stuff back and then we'll move on. I think we should also fry that leftover tofu. And I think we should maybe make a little side salad with that red cabbage I was supposed to cook last night, but I forgot. But first we can clean, right? Let's put some stuff away. Cleanliness is godliness. In the meantime, Hashtag ask art rolls on. Ask the one and only Arthur T. Almacy the third. Any question you'd like. And if you have a question for Desi, hashtag ask Desi. Or for Rose, hashtag ask Rose. Okay. Uh, I wish I could, Dion. Are there questions here? Let's see. Oh, the recipe, Stephanie, is in the description box of the video. I, I posted it in the description box and on the community tab. I'm on like a 15 second delay here, so I'm looking to see if there are any questions. Um, I don't see any yet, Art. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Maureen. I always enjoyed following you, but more so in these times. Ask Art, what is Art's go-to snack? I love pretzels, so that's not uh, something that belongs to the show, but that's probably my go-to. That or trail mix. Those are probably like my two favorite snacks. Trail mix with M&Ms or not? But, but, but I don't eat a whole lot of them, either of them. I, you know, I, but they're my go-to, all-time favorite. Art, right, so do you ever break the rules? <laughs> do I break the rules? Uh, yeah, Who was? what was that ad in the 80s or 90s? Sometimes you have to break the rules. I forgot who that was, but uh, yeah. But we're talking uh, viruses here, so... We're limiting contact here. Uh, no, uh, Lindsay, we never get the tofu from Chipotle because I don't, I don't know if it's organic or top quality, so no. Are you back filming in Costco? Uh, Bobby, have you filmed anything in Costco? No, just that one I video. Uh, no, we're, we're not going to go back there. Can I stock up on cheese balls? Believe it or not, no. I, I limit my cheese ball consumption. Taylor, question for me. Do you think you would be doing YouTube with Bobby? Well, I am doing YouTube with Bobby. Did you think? I mean, she's saying, right? Oh, oh, did I think? Uh, I don't, did I think? Did you ever imagine that? Not really. I didn't know that you wanted to do YouTube when I first met you. I mean, at one point. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's get set up here. Let's start bringing this oil to the temperature. And then we'll see what's going on. Let's prep this. Uh, can you get a better shot here? Desi, how did you <clears throat> snag Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Tell the story, man. That's a good story. I want a guy who cooks too. I'm jealous too. Well, all my friends want to clone Bobby. The single friends, you know, want to clone Bobby. And, Maybe some uh, of the married ones. You never know. Yeah. I don't know. He's one in a million. <laughs> Tell the story. Uh, how I snagged him. Uh, I don't. He snagged me. <laughs> I did. Tell the story how we snagged each other. Uh, we met we met out and about uh, and um, and we're out with our friends. He was out with his friends. We it was a young started. professionals event. Yeah. Tell the whole story. We had time. Out and about. Out and about. We're, you know, we were out at a professional event and I was there with my girlfriends, but I was there with his friends and uh, three of us approached the group of guys. I started talking to Bobby and talked to him the entire night. He, he said, listen, Rose, this is a story of mommy and daddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> and, 
and uh, he uh, he said he wanted to take me out for lunch the next day and asked for my phone number. Went to put it in his phone and his phone was dead. I couldn't believe it. And he said, okay, give me your phone so I can enter my number in it. And I said, oh, no way, I'm not going to call you. He's like, don't call me. Just text me, I'll call you. And I said, all right, all right. So I texted him later on when I got home. Uh, meanwhile, Bobby got home and he was waiting for my text and waiting and waiting and waiting. I plugged nothing, in my phone. Nothing was coming through. His phone phone was charging. He started panicking. That was back in 2008. So he opened up Facebook and started searching my name. And back in the day, it was so easy to find anybody. So he found me and started writing a message on Facebook. And just before he was going to send, click send, my message came through and it was saved. <laughs> So it it sounds day. kind of desperate if you're like messaging the chick the same night. Like, hey, I lost your phone number. Oh, I have to find you on. I have to stalk you on <laughs> Facebook, right? Yeah, and then we like we were like, um, anyway. So he he uh, called me the next day, bright and early at ten o'clock in the morning. He's like, let me take you out for lunch in a couple hours. He came pick me up. For some reason, it was two thousand eight. It was similar. It was like nobody was working. I was, I was at home. Was kind of didn't have any projects. Bobby wasn't busy, so we went out for lunch on Friday, and um, then he asked me out on a second date, he said he wanted to cook for me, he made a miso marinated cod with broccolini, and uh, that sealed the deal for me. That's right. But back in the day, I would never like call a girl the next day and ask her for a date, you would wait three days to contact her. Yeah, if I was a player. You got to be a player, right? But with Desi, I knew that was a bit different, so. And Desi wasn't going to play any games. <laughs> Desi had a good BS thermometer. Yeah. So these are looking really good, you guys. I mean, you, you just know this is going to be redonkulously good, right? It's so really keep good. it covered. Let's whip up this... Uh, what made me come to the U.S.? I came here to study. I went to college here. Uh -huh. How Someone... did we decide on the name Rose? We were going to call her actually Rose Marie. So it's something with food. But we wasn't, wasn't very sure about... We weren't that keen on the Marie part. So we're like, okay, we love Rose. Let's pick something else that's food related. And we just stumbled upon the... Um, the honey, and we're like, okay, yeah, that's beautiful for a middle name. So. Yep. <sighs> and we're like, okay, we just have to see her, and then we'll actually decide. <laughs> so we have to see her. Send Art some Uber Eats. Yeah. I should open up an Uber Eats delivery with all this food we're making here. I'd be the only keto paleo food delivery system in Chicago. <laughs> Amber met her boyfriend in 2008, too. Nice. How long? Can I throw away my spices after about 8 or 12 months. Someone asked me, Bobby, pick one, extra virgin olive oil or smoked paprika? Ooh, that's a tough one, Art. What do you think? Sorry, Bobby has to choose one, extra virgin olive oil or smoked paprika? Oh, man, you yeah, might spontaneously Yeah, don't choose. Uh, don't make me choose. But if I had to choose one, I'd pick EVOO because I can always that's use a... smoked uh, sweet paprika. You know, it's more, it's more versatile. Yeah. I'll, I'll jimmy it. I'll take uh, sweet paprika and add some like chipotle powder. Boom! Homemade smoked paprika. Like how it goes dynamite. And the dynamite goes boom. Someone had a suggestion. Uh, Bobby should go live with the first meal he made for you. Just miso marinade ah, and, yeah. and broccolini. And then I should go live with the first meal I made for Bobby. Do you remember what that was? Not a meal, but I made you something. Do you remember what that was then? Uh, and listen to this story. That's a funny one too. Real? Okay. Yeah, uh, the food snap that Bobby wants. Ha! 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 Remember, you asked me for something. Then. Oh, I asked you for brownies. Yeah. Yeah, Bobby's like, um, "Can you make me some?" I don't know how it came upon, but like, I, 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 I wanted to do something for him. He's like, "Oh, why don't you make some brownies?" And I said, "Okay, fine." And then he sent me the exact <laughs> recipe he wanted me to make by Alton. I Brown. sent her Alton Brown's recipe for brownies. <laughs> <laughs> you did good because I had no idea about well, yeah. food at that point. I knew what I wanted. And I don't like to bake that much, so I sent it over. I guess most people don't do that, but 
Ah, uh, what am I doing here? Oh, some herbs. Yep, so I'm just making a little crunchy salad because that's gonna be a very mushy uh, dish. But if we add some crunch in here with red cabbage, carrots, and parsley, you could actually put this on top of the, uh, on top of the stew if you wanted to. I've done that in the past, it's really fresh. I think I might do that with a little bit and also add the tofu. It's gonna be the most amazing meal. It would be 100% vegan if you used water or veggie stock, but I'm all about the bone broth. Daddy needs some of that collagen, right? Art, what's your favorite food? I just was about to type the answer. That's, I don't really have a good answer. I, uh, oh. I can't, I, I can't know. answer that either. It's too hard. That's, that's really hard. There's a lot of good foods out there. Usually when I'm there, <laughs> that could easily be my favorite food at that moment. So I don't know. It's uh, t- too tough a question. That's like asking Bobby about the paprika on the EDO. <laughs> I'm going to answer for Art. It's uh, flat iron steak. <laughs> <laughs> and three hour bolognese. And he, one of his favorite things that actually Bobby makes is the Cheddar Bay biscuits. Oh, yeah, true. That's a good flat point. Iron steak and Cheddar Bay biscuits. That's, uh, that's an easy one, right? Yep. That question reminds me of uh, the season finale of Curb the other day when they had to choose like about their baby. And he's like, I don't know if I want the baby. It's like, and they're like, gun to your head, gun to your head. He's like, why is there a gun to my head? Well, you got to choose. So it's like, that reminded me of that too. <laughs> I okay. just watched the one yesterday, I think episode four, where they have to go to Mexico for the wedding. Oh, yeah. Mickey. That's a good one. Hey, I'm not going to say anything yeah. bad about Mickey. I'm not saying anything bad about Mickey. <laughs> that, that was a good one. I like that one. <laughs> yep. Also, Destiny and I, we need some more show recommendations. So we're watching devs right now, but we have to wait for new episodes to uh, pop up. Can people recommend non-violent, either drama, thrillers, or c- comedies. We started watching on Hulu last night a show with uh, Reese Witherspoon and- Little Fires uh, Everywhere. Little Fires Everywhere with Reese Witherspoon and uh, Kerry Washington. That looks promising. You know, we don't want killing zombies, missing boys, or anything like that, right? <clears throat> Let's see here. Why is Art in timeout? <laughs> it looks like he is, but he's not. <laughs> yeah, morning show we watched already. Uh, bone broth because it just adds so much flavor and it's really good for your immune system. Uh, when you guys make bone broth or when you consume bone broth at home, how many people make it versus how many people buy it? I'm curious because I always kind of preach about making it, but I realize that not a lot of people want to do it either for 12 hours on the stove or three hours in a pressure cooker. So I'm kind of curious about that. Let's see. Restaurant at Risk on Netflix. I've seen that. Grey's Anatomy. Dusty won't watch any more... Uh, food-related shows. Once in a while. Wow, everyone buy, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. Wow, interesting. They buy it. Dirk here? Nice. Buy what? Uh, this. Wow. Oh, uh, yeah, we used to watch the Goldbergs. Interesting. Yeah, some people make it. All right, so if you keep buying it, take advantage of the uh, quarantine immune system boosting sale in the description box. Once again, up to 25% off of the bone broth. This is one of the best bone broths on the market. And they were nice enough to sponsor the video. Okay, nice. Oh, okay. Kelly makes it. I make bone broth and your Instant Pot. Very smart, I do that too. And then I go outside, I release the pressure so it smells like a barn outside, not inside, right? By the way, Rose, you're being really great. Okay, the episode huh? on Triple G that we were this on is called Family Feud. Um, um. And it's from 2014. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's somewhere on YouTube. You can find it. Uh yeah, or you can buy it on uh Family Feud. On Apple. Let's get the radar gun out of here, Rose. Yo. Yeah, Marvel's Mrs. Maisel awesome. Oh, to watch it. We love Mrs. Maisel. Um, I actually like this. He doesn't like it. Uh, the new Pope. On HBO, it's a continuation of The Young Pope with John Malkovich and uh, Jude Law. I think it's a fantastic show. Very, very cool. Virgin River? Never heard of this one. On Netflix? Uh, I've never heard of that. That sounds interesting. <laughs> okay, let's get that. By the way, Bobby, Mary yeah. says that Costco sells smoked paprika best price ever. Are you serious? That's what Mary Thomas just said. I'll check it out. I doubt it's organic. And it's probably a, a huge tub that most people would never use, but I might. Right, Art? You might. I, you might. If someone's going to do it, it's going to be me. Hi, everybody. 
Okay. So we have the lentils cooking in here. Uh huh. And then you have that hot oil from yesterday. Yep. Hey, Rose. High five. <laughs> Rose is doing great, isn't she? Look at you. You're doing Chilling. great, young lottie. Chilling. You're doing great. Chilling. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi. Uh, what should we make tomorrow for the live stream? We're undecided yet. You, get, you know what I want to make one day is like real deal fried chicken. I just feel like it's going to be really messy. What I'd like to do is work on getting a, a signal outside so we can fry out there. Because it'd be, it'd be really messy to do it inside. Are these cubes too big to fry, babe, or what? Uh, well, I thought you wanted to make them real crispy and stuff. Yeah, I have to fry kind them. Kind of small. Smaller I'm or no? Really small. Yeah, I'd love some recommendations. Killing Eve, yeah, we watched that oh, one. Oh, yeah, we like Killing Eve a lot. The American, all, no, All American on Netflix. I don't know what that is. All American. American. I don't know that one. Okay, good to know. Ah, Flav City Cafe, what yeah. What are you going to make tomorrow, babe, so people know? Um, let's talk about it. What should I make tomorrow? Uh, did you post the recipe, the, the ingredients today? I did, but very late, unfortunately. Oh. Sorry, guys. I'm really bad at that kind of stuff. Fleabag. Bobby likes it. I, I couldn't get into it. I loved Fleabag. I thought it was fantastic. If you want show recommendations, don't ask Art. Art is really behind the times when it comes to shows. Probably the... That is correct, <laughs> sir. <laughs> How about... A a over here, oh, I'll bet. I'll bet. Someone had a good suggestion. Make ice cream. Let's make that berry whip. Oh, the berry whip? Yeah. Yeah, it's not really ice cream, but we can make that, but we got to make dinner too, right? Yeah. Where's the coconut aminos? Did I, use them? I probably used them all. Let me get some coconut more. Coconut aminos, aren't they down there? No. Mm, where? Yeah, it'd be nice if we can Courtney, decide nine nine together. Nine. Courtney, give it nine can nine you nine? give me a dinner Wait, idea Courtney. without ground beef? Oh, with ground beef, I'm sorry. A dinner idea with ground beef? Yeah, you know what? I just posted a video on Instagram and uh, Facebook the other day for Salisbury steak with a pan sauce. Google Flav City Salisbury steak. It's a great way to use ground beef. Oh, one of my favorites. Yes. It's uh, cabbage stuffed leaves. That's with ground beef and veggies. If you want to keep it keto, if you're not, you can add some rice. So a little bit of coconut aminos go in the uh, soy sauce and then I'll go to the pantry back yonder and grab some of that arrowroot starch from yesterday. I have to make something um, budget meal. On, on your, yeah, let's do it with stuff I have. Yeah, something I have on hand. I have a lot of ground beef on hand. Shepherd's pie, meatloaf. Meatloaf might take a little thing. too long. What about... Uh, Does Rose know Bulgarian words? Yeah, she knows a few Bulgarian words. What about... Uh, Salisbury steak, we could do that. Not my favorite. Okay. What, what protein should you we You know make? what's my favorite? Like I said, cabbage stuff leaves. Uh, oh, that'd be so much work on a live stream. So we didn't, yesterday I didn't See, add some. Your favorite is probably the lamb chops with the uh, tahini sauce. Yeah. As a, as a, as a meal, uh. Dusty loves that. Yeah. Yeah, not, not my top favorite. Not, not my top favorite. But, yeah, you know me well, Art. <laughs> All right, let's see. I've eaten there many a time. All right, let's see what happens when I get... See if this is going to work. Yeah, because you want it to be kind of clumpy and create kind of you a batter. To, yeah. So let me see. Here, do me a favor. Throw the, uh, the gun. Oh, the gun. Tell me the temperature of that oil. That's close enough. All right. What is arrowroot made out of? Uh, it's made out of a, a root vegetable, very similar to uh, cassava. I, can be like... I was going to answer it's made out of arrowroot, but <laughs> <laughs> I knew that wasn't the right answer. <laughs> All right. Joe so. says I sound like a radio DJ. I'm honored. I, don't I like that. Much, thank you. No, you normally do when you do the live streams. You're like, hello, folks. Let's see what's going on there. Well, 
Hi, everybody. Ooh, it's kind of goopy. I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> See if that works. I'm not pork sure. Meat. Is it the same pan sauce for your pork chops? Uh, f for the Salisbury steak? No, it's a different one, Courtney, I think. What's up, Rosie, my girl? Rose has been really good. Give it up for Rose, oh. by the way. You know what? The Bully and Desi's yogurt soup. Oh my God. Yeah, this is one of my favorites too. Well, what do I make that Abgo Lemino soup? No? Look at this. So this is getting really, really good here, you guys. Let's check it for seasoning this now. This is getting tired. See what's going on. I know. Oh, I know. You want, you want to play with this drawer? I'll play with the drawer. Yeah. Yeah, Rose is playing with the drawer. Oh, Whoa, care. mamacita. Oh, careful, Rose. You're so strong, my love. Oh my God, you guys. You're so strong. That is really good. But it's very under seasoned. So, I need a good pinch of salt in there. And now we just get to the point where I want to reduce it to the consistency I want. So first of all, we got a couple of things going on. Take a look back here. This is actually getting a little crispier than yesterday, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You know what? It's kind of goopy, though, from the, uh, the mixture of the... Uh, look at that. Let I, it fry, man. I feel like the, uh, the combination of the tapioca and the... Uh, I think we, should, we just should have done tapioca for that because it's so wet. Oh, okay. Not like the chicken. Cynthia, five dollars. Oh, Cynthia. Thank you for your live shows, keeping us happy. Is Rose teething? Yes, she is teething. She is. Definitely There's so, some big ones about to come in the top. Gina, two dollar holler. Thank you. Snacks for Rose. Rose really only eats meals. She doesn't really snack. Oh, let me show them what I made. Okay. okay. Maybe give her a little bit right now. All right, you guys. So I made this for Rose. It's like a panna cotta. Um, it's made with coconut cream. Cooked blueberries and uh, a little bit of gelatin. So very, very easy. And it has the consistency of a panna cotta. Panna cotta, what does that mean? Cooked cream, is it? Yeah, correct. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not very sweet because the blueberry is not very sweet, but actually, the um, coconut cream has a little bit of sweetness, so it's actually really, really nice. And I gave some to Rose yesterday, and she liked it. Whatever mm. happened to your she fermented vegetable breast milk? Yeah, I used it. I um, made, um, separated away from it, and I uh, put it on some baked sweet potato and let that ferment overnight and gave it to Rose. I did it just a couple of times. It so worked out, didn't it? It's a little time consuming, yeah. Rose likes this panna cotta. She likes the cotta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so look, man, the tofu did fry and get golden, but it doesn't work with that tamari. It's a little too goopy, see that? Huh. So the second batch I just did tapioca. All right. It tastes good, though. A little bit of salt. So, yeah, this is just coconut cream and cooked blueberries. And some... Can we... I want you to see yeah. the texture. This is like... Look at this, you guys. This is maybe five minutes out. I mean, look at the color. It looks like you're in... I've never been there, but I feel like it looks like you're in the middle of oh, Mumbai. It's legit, babe. This is legit. Too legit. Too legit to quit. Hey, hey. <laughs> ah. Nice, all right. That was a good one. We're not even making that much of a mess, which is making me happy. Is it yummy, Rose? Mm-hmm. Yeah, coconut cream is so good for you. 
Yep, good for daddy and mommy too. Second bat looks better. If this were chicken, you can do the tamari or the aminos, but it doesn't work with tofu because it was so wet. Yeah, it just became very wet. Mm -hmm. right, let me do a little mid cleanup here. Hey. Okay, what's up now? So what else do we have? I have a question for Desi and for you guys. See this organic kale I got at Whole Foods uh, yesterday? Do you want me to add some of this to the uh, lentil stew at the end? Oh yeah, that would be, be nice. Okay. What, you guys, what do you guys think? Let me know. That way, we pack it with more nutrients. Did you guys know that kale is actually the most nutrient-dense vegetable in the world? Antioxidant-rich, vitamin A, vitamin K, and vitamin C. Really, really, really nice. So what are they saying, yes or no? Yes. Yes, all right, let me wash a few leaves and we'll fold it in. So the recipe's in the description box and then you can add the extra stuff I did, like the kale, the celery, uh, stuff like that. Before I chat, let me do a little housekeeping here, babe, real quick. Rose, I'm gonna steal a little bite of your- Did you uh, try the lentils, babe? Um, I did, but I want you to try it. They were grossly undersalted, but I'm gonna add lime juice later on. Let's let Desi try. Can I use a spoon? Yeah. Here. Let's have mommy try. Oh, and I let it cool off. Down. Here, I'm gonna put it right here. I want them to be very soft. Oh, don't worry. That's the beauty about split lentils. They get very, very soft. So this is, oh my God, babe, look at this. This will work so much better. So it's not, there's no color because of the uh, feel this. So Taylor or, um, is it hard? Or D, if you could be my finger, it's How come really. It didn't, mm, get color? Get color. Because yesterday. it's arrowroot starch. No, no. How come yesterday it didn't get crispy like that? Um, perhaps I didn't let it fry long enough. These are super, super crispy. Maybe I put more. Uh... So what do you do, Art? What do you do as soon as something comes out of the fryer? Uh, exactly as you're doing there, and season them. Season it while it's hot. Salt. Because, as Emerald says, they're vulnerable when they come out of the fryer. That's right. As Emerald says, they're vulnerable. Now Desi has to try the curry stew here. Let's flip the camera around so people can see you really quick. Oh, okay. Let's not. <laughs> mm. Oh, bad. Careful not to salt it. It's pretty salty right now. Pretty, it was bland as can be a minute ago. What are you talking about? Mm, yeah. It's what? Good. No way. Mm-hmm. When I tasted it before, it was completely bland. Desi hates when I oversalt. That's oversalted? No chance. That's perfection. That is so good. It's aggressively seasoned. Aggressively seasoned? I'd hope so. There's no way this thing doesn't need any more salt. <laughs> oh, well, a whole food, right? Really oh, hot. Hmm? Texture? Consistency, a little more, right? Just a, a little, little more. more. Wow, so like this. Let me get the kale in there. Hold on. Very soft, and then. Yeah, the, the coconut aminos was a was a no no. I, I want to say it's aggressively salted. Well, all my People food. People are asking me. I disagree. I think it's perfectly seasoned. Keep in mind, also, you could always add less salt and then add some acid or lime juice at the end of a recipe. Well, my sample apparently was salty. <laughs> I said I have a tiebreaker, and I'm gonna have to go with Desi on this one. Oh, I don't <laughs> even see how that's fair at all, but okay. Art always takes my side because he doesn't want to get in trouble with me. <laughs> <laughs> El Jefe. El Jefe. That's a show we used to watch. We used to watch Narcos, but it's so dang violent, you can't watch it anymore, it's brutal. Hey, mama. Okay, a little more, a little more. Rose loves to eat. I have to pace her. Yeah, she pace gets mad her. if you cut her off. See, if, if I give her this whole thing, she'll eat it. I'm just gonna chop some kale, chopping kale. Always add this at the end. You want almost like a raw or al dente element. You don't want to cook the kale for the entire time, otherwise everything in the dish will be very cooked and mushy. 
But here's the deal. Let's start doing some final touches on the dish here. So kale goes in. What's gonna make this next level? Well, a lot of people like to finish with butter or cream. I wanna keep this dairy free. So I'm gonna go into the fridge, or actually I took it out earlier, and get some coconut cream. This stuff is such an amazing thickener of sauces. I'll take a good couple tablespoons here. And then, where's your, uh, where'd her Biba go, babe? She's still eating, man. Oh, she's still eating. Oh, that's, she wants more food, huh? Yeah, she wants more food. Now, a little more. at this point, I'll dispose of the tea bag. Look at this thing, babe. Oh. That has given all its goodness, you guys. There's no more love in there. The thrill is gone, Art. Thrill is gone. Thrill is gone. BB King style, exactly. Thrill is gone. <laughs> now, look what happened. I put the cream in there. It thickened up really nicely. Then I'll take some lime juice for a little bit of acid. This kind of food's all about a balance of salt, heat, and acid. We also have fat in there too. So a little bit of lime juice goes in there. Now I'll give it to Desi again to check for seasoning. And I think I'll just turn the heat off now. I mean, this is a one pot marvel. Not even a wonder, it's a marvel. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I mean, holy sh bowly. I mean, if you're gonna eat carbs, these are the kind of carbs you wanna eat. So let's get a little sample for Desi here. Wait, Rose is having panna cotta made with coconut cream, cooked blueberries, and uh, gelatin. That's it, three ingredients. Desi, try it out. Mm, wow. That's Delicious, it. Babe. That's it. It's done. Delicious. It's done. We nailed it. Okay. And the body, the body of the soup from that bone broth is Yeah. So the heat, lots of flavors from the spices. Mm -hmm. Creamy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to season my salad here with just perfect curry, coconut. It's everything goodness. you want. I think if people look for new ways to make lentils, that's a really exciting way. So right behind Desi's back here, I'm seasoning my salad with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Salt and pepper is in there. And then I'll squeeze some lime juice in there too. Very simple salad that not only I'm going to put on the side, I'm gonna put it on top of my dish for crunch because Art often says, what do you say, Art, about crunch? If you're not on the team crunch, you're not in our bunch. Exactly, and this is a very creamy, mushy dish, and you need a little bit of crunch, you need a little bit of texture. Team texture, right? And yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, Perfect. Let me get you your tea. Sorry, guys. All right, let's plate this up. What bowl should I use for this? I'll use a wide bowl like this. Oh, well, Rose is drinking some tea now. Wow. Yeah. Nice. And also drinking some digestive tea. And it's an aperitif. Yeah. So this is a, a tea made with oh, tea? chamomile, yeah, some tea? aniseed, some tea tea? Um, oh, what is it? A dill seed and um, caraway seed. It's really good for the digestion uh, and mm -hmm. for... Uh, for gas, if you have gas. Debra, 999 with a thank you. The pair doing the thank you. Thank you so much, Debra, I appreciate that. All right, let's plate this dish as soon as Rose is done. She's gonna spill it all over herself. So. Oh! Careful, Rose. We're gonna cut you off, barkeeper. Cut her off. Come here. Cut her off. <laughs> cut her off, she's had too much to drink, barkeep. Careful, love. <laughs> yeah, she's drinking from her shot glass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, okay, she's like. Beef. Here's the beef right there. Her, well, isn't she done drinking? No, she's drinking, man. 
Can you put it under the cup? All right, hold on. Sure. Under the cup. All right, as soon as, hold on, move the cup away for a second. Right, easy, girl. Easy. <laughs> move the cup away for a second. <laughs> ah. Under the cup. Ah. <laughs> There you go. Go go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Drink. Go drink. Ahead. Drink, 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 drink. Sorry, jeez. Go ahead. Don't take the uh, shot glass away from the drinker. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Here. Here. Whoa. <laughs> oh, Rosie. Okay, come here. <laughs> okay, come to daddy. Come to daddy. Okay. <laughs> you saw that coming a mile away. Now, let's plate this dish together. Go back to your station. <laughs> Rose, jeez, Senora Baracha. <laughs> That's crazy, Rose. Okay, here's this. Oh, we'll put a ladle of, come back here for a second, babe, if you don't mind. I just can't get over the color of this dish, you guys. The color of this is gorgeous. And it gets better the next day because stuff like soups and stews only get better the next day. So we'll put down a nice ladle full of this nutrient-packed bone broth reinforced lentil stew all right then we're gonna watch on replay <laughs> i want to see that on replay let's come back over here babe. then to add some crunch there i think this is a pro move here this is something restaurants would do and they would charge you a lot of money for all right we'll take some of that like yeah like, cook like a pro we'll put that right in the middle to add it First of all, color, but crunch. And then to top it off with some more protein. I mean, you don't need it because we have so much protein. We'll take some crispy seasoned tofu right here. The one from leftover from yesterday, right? And then if I had a free hand, I might chop some cilantro or something, and I don't. If it was Indy, imagine this is a... Uh... Uh, what is their cheese called? Paneer? Paneer, paneer. And then we'll take paneer a little bit of lemon zest top, here. Right? Look at Rose is helping me. It's her first zest. Look, Rose. A little bit of lemon zest on top. This is one of the sexiest dishes I pay, maybe have made all year long. Done. There it is, you guys. Red coconut curry lentil stew with a red cabbage crunch slaw and crispy tofu. I mean, that is what quarantining is all about. Number one, it's tasty. Number two, it's nutrient dense and it's immune system boosting food. Once again, thanks to Kettle and Fire for sponsoring the video and making this dish really the best it can be because that is gonna have so much flavor. Let's bring mommy on here to try it out here. Here, okay. All right. Go grab a spoon. Back yonder. Feed Desi. Feed Desi. Hashtag visual feed art. Man. Uber Eats are. I wish I can Uber Eats. I wish I can Uber Eat this to everyone. Wow. Explosion of flavors, babe. Explosion of flavors, wow. The lime really comes through at the end. So it's creamy, it's hearty, it has all those spices. I can taste the, um, even the cinnamon a little bit, the curry. Yep. Um, it's very, very rich and creamy from the coconut cream, but then you have this slaw on top, which cuts with this freshness. Yep, great description. All right, take and, some notes here. <laughs> and of course, of course, if the slaw wasn't enough as a texture, we have the Tofu. Yep. Can you show the ingredients you real quick more of the uh, bone broth? Yeah, it's 100% organic. Turn the ingredients on this thing. Everything's organic. The bones are 100% grass-fed, and every ingredient in here is organic. So yeah, super, super clean, just like you'd make it at home, except you don't have to smell up your house. I was reaching for the big bowl. <laughs> Delicious, babe. Thank Th you. Thank you, beer. Thank you. I can't wait to try that. And it gets better the next day. Can you grab the camera? Because I can't hold both. Thank you. I want to try a bite of that. All right, let's try that, Rosie. Oh! Yeah, Bobby, if I was there to try it, I think I would be telling you that it's a very complex flavor profile. <laughs> I think I could guess that, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, let's try this. Wow. Uh-huh. Creamy, crunchy, acidic, sweet, sour. That's everything you want and more. So once again, the promo link for up to 25% off of Kettle and Fire Bone Broth, a best-in-class store-bought bone broth, in the description box, they're just doing it for a limited time during the quarantine to make sure you have healthy, nutrient-dense, immune system boosting recipes or ingredients to make recipes at home. So thank you guys for sponsoring the video. We didn't figure out what we're making tomorrow, but I guess we'll figure it out pretty soon. And maybe I can post a recipe ahead of time. I'm just so bad at that kind of stuff, you guys. Um, but that's it. Art right, will be back tomorrow. Desi and Rose will be back tomorrow. I uh, will see you really soon. Had a great time hanging out with all y'all. As always, thank you, Maggie. Thank you, Katya. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Luma. Thank you, Taylor. Really appreciate it. We'll leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later, you guys. Bye, guys. And this girl needs a new shirt, don't you, my love? Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye from art. <laughs>